Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Pixie Palace. Today, we are dealing with the full moon in Scorpio, which is on May 16th, not to mention a total lunar eclipse on the 15th. Let's just say it's not a quiet time. <laughs> it is going to be full of intense energy, a lot of transformation, old ways falling to the wayside, and the new coming in. And that's all depends upon us. It's what we allow to come in. You've noticed a common theme in the past few readings I've done that the universe has been channeling through. And it's all about letting go of the old and allowing in the new. And it's so, so important. And you don't need to do it at a specific moon phase or a certain month or a certain week. It's just part of life. But it's in our control as far as when we allow it to happen. It is totally normal human nature that we may cling to some of the old ways out of fear of instability, fear of change, not wanting to go out of our comfort zone, and nobody's exempt from this. And sometimes it's not really that big a deal. Sometimes you can be in a comfortable state, really enjoy the fruits of your labors, and just enjoy a certain life routine, quote unquote. But when it starts hindering on growth, it keeps you in the fear mentality, and maybe out of sheer laziness or procrastination, we don't move forward when we need to. Every day we need to strive to be a better version of ourselves, even if it's taking one tiny step in that direction. So this full moon is really going to be shining some light on what really needs to be carved out of your life or what needs to be tweaked or changed. And as we get into the reading, we're going to see what messages come through from Mother Moon as well as the universe itself. And the full moon this time around is really going to be kind of cool to see if you're able to see it from your area. It's called the blood moon or the flower moon because it's going to be a brilliant, bright pinkish red, depending on where you are. And it's really going to be a sight to see if you're able to do that. So let me know in the comments below if you do see the moon at, during this time because I'm sure it's going to be gorgeous. And this only happens occasionally throughout the year. So let's get into it and see what is going to happen this time around. Well, as usual, I'm using the Moonology Oracle card deck. Of course, I got to get in the camera here. <laughs> um, and it's by Yasmin Bolin. She also has another deck I keep looking at. And I think it might be time for me to break down and actually buy it. So take a look in future videos because I might be using that. So. so today has been a very highly energetic day. Um, I've been kind of up and down the roller coaster. Not, um, I've been feeling okay, but the energy has been really weird. It, I started off really almost lethargic, even though I slept well last night. I woke up feeling really sore, and, and I needed to get into movement, so I've been moving around a lot physically today. Because sometimes when our life energy is uh, stale or stagnant, will feel it physically. It becomes a physical manifestation. And we might have sore muscles or feel dehydrated or really tired or just other little things like that. So I've been really trying to move around, drinking more water today, which I've really been slacking on lately. So um, if you're feeling that way today, um, just make sure you take care of yourself. Get some extra rest. Self-care is very important during this time and also definitely hydrate. And I need to tell myself that more often, so. All right, so we're gonna shuffle the card. Let's go, Ooh, okay, one more. All right, so let's see what happens. And this is an important part of the process. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. 
Now, even though we're in the Scorpio energy, where we are supposed to be very active in and very action oriented in creating the life that we want, starting on new projects, really going forward in the new beginnings that we've been meditating on. And that should be in the forefront right now. However, meditation and contemplation is, are still two key components. Because without planning, without dreaming, it's really hard to know what to bring to fruition. You might be involved in something right now that was very inspirational to you at one point, but it might not be feeling that way for you anymore. So now it's time to take a moment, take a breath, tap inside yourself, and just really ask yourself the important questions. Does it bring you joy? What value is it bringing to the world? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you feeling burned out? So those are kind of the questions to ask yourself from time to time, even when things are going well and you still feel good, but it's good to do that mental check-in with yourself. A lot of us don't slow down enough to do that. And also meditation is not always easy. I tend to have different times where meditation is very easy for me and other times it's not. It depends if I'm in the anxious state, if I'm overthinking. And while meditation does help ease anxiety and it does help slow down the mind, sometimes it's hard to get the meditative state started. It's almost like a paradox. So you really have to uh, have a certain discipline to really do that if you want to do that. And there are also different forms of meditation. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to sit down and go, oh, you know, the traditional meditation a lot of people think of. There's walking meditation. You can take a walk in the park or in the woods or uh, around town and really be mindful of the steps you take and of your breath. Really um, just enjoy the present moment as you're doing that. It could also be music. Music is another form of meditation I do. And sometimes it's just a matter of listening to it and really enjoying the lyrics, the music. And I love all types of music, but I tend to really enjoy high vibe music. And I even made a collab uh, music track a few days ago. It's on SoundCloud, so the link's below. But it's all high vibe energy, which I think is very important to put out there because there's a lot of music that's not nourishing to the soul, so to speak. So it could be something like that. It could be uh, swimming. It could be anything that brings you joy and allows you to be in the present moment and be mindful. And also where you don't hit resistance as much. Um, it, it's so important and it clears the mind. Um, it clears your heart. And that's usually when inspiration comes in. It's when you're not forcing the process. So meditating and contemplating uh, about what you want, what you want to put out in the world, um, how you can nourish your soul, and really just tap in to what's important. So that is very, very important during this moon phase. So we're going to do another card. I'm feeling a pull to draw another one. So we're going to see what that is. I like this. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Now, while this speaks for itself, and it really resonates for me personally, this is life in general. Nothing is set in stone. When you think something is permanent and nothing can change it, literally the next minute it can change. Now, this can be good, this could be negative, what have you, but it's very important to always have gratitude. Have gratitude for what you already have. We're always looking to the next big thing, the thing that we don't have, um, energy of lack, which is very common for a lot of us. And sometimes we forget to be grateful for what we already have. And it doesn't have to be the next greatest car or greatest phone. Most of the time it's not even material things. It's about who we have in our life. It's about our health. It's about our peace of mind, uh, physical safety. Um, it's so many different things. Our talents, our gifts that we do or don't use. 
Um, there's so many different things to be grateful for. I remember during my toughest times, the one thing that got me up every day, especially when I was grieving my late husband, was my cat, Timmy. Timmy was the one who actually got me to get out of bed every day and live to fight the fight, basically. And I was so grateful for him, and I still am, even though he drives me crazy. <laughs> um, he was really a blessing at that time because it really kept me going, and it really made me grateful for what I still had despite my grieving process. So even in times like that, there's always, always something you can be grateful for. And it can seem like the most minor thing in the world, but one thing a day to be grateful for can really keep you going. Plus, when you're in that gratitude state, it can bring beautiful things in. And it, a lot of the time you get even more back from just being in that true state. So nothing is set in stone. So if you're in a situation right now that you really feel like you'll never get out of, um, you may be very down right now and really struggling. And we always hear there's a brighter tomorrow. We always hear, oh, hang in there, it'll get better. And sometimes they just seem like empty words, but they really aren't. Things can change at the flip of a switch. And we've all seen it happen, whether we realize it or not. Even if you're not hearing it from anybody, I'm telling you now, nothing is set in stone. Things will get better. And if you're in a good state right now, that's awesome. I, I'm in a pretty good state right now myself. But again, that can change because life is full of obstacles. Life is full of teachable moments. That's what I like to call it. And I know something difficult may be around the corner. And if it is, I always hang on to the faith that I will get through that and I will learn something from it and become a better version of myself. And it's really all depending upon perspective. When you think of it like that, sometimes it's, it makes it a little tiny bit easier. And again, I'm not perfect. I don't always think like that. Sometimes I have to remind myself, um, okay, back up, girl. You got this. And sometimes we just need, need to feel what we feel, process it, and go back into alignment. And that's just part of how things go. I think as long as we allow ourselves to be mindful of the moments we're in, be in the present moment, really enjoy our lives and appreciate the good times even when we're going through the bad times. There is a reason for that. It's a yin and yang type of thing. If we didn't have the bad moments, we probably wouldn't appreciate the good moments as much as we do. Now, hopefully we have more good moments than bad moments, but sometimes the bad moments are there to teach us something. That's why I call it teachable moments. And it's essential for our growth, our learning, our maybe looking at things from a different perspective, and just really trying to raise the vibration of this world to make it a better one. There's a lot of layers in this simple message, but this moon phase will be a very powerful one. And I'm really excited to see the changes that will happen in my life as well as throughout the world. And if anything, you can take this for a time to finally do the thing you've been wanting to do. Make the change you've been wanting to make. Let go of the old and allow the new. It's your time now. You may have been focused on so many people around you. Maybe you're one of those people who put everybody first. Believe me, I've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. Still to have a tendency to do that. But if you are somebody who does that, now it's your time to shine. It's not that you neglect everybody else and say heck with you and shut everybody out. Now is the time for you. For you to do the shadow work, the hard work, but also enjoy your life. Do that exciting thing you've always wanted to do that was on your bucket list. And we all have that bucket list, but we know we're never going to do it. Do it. Even if it's just one thing on the list, it can change your life dramatically. Or it can be enough of a change to bring you even more joy. 
So that, it's a double message in this reading. It may be a little bit different from other readings out there for this time period, but I think this is a very, very important message because this will be a time where the old energy is illuminated. It will be very clear to you what needs to go and what can stay. So if you like these kind of videos, please feel free to click like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow. And more importantly, it helps our Pixie Dust community grow as well. I hope you are doing well. Remember you are enough and always reach for your dreams is just within your reach. And there's Timmy. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much for your support and I love you all. Until the next time, to know yourself is to know your truth. Namaste. Empower yourself to empower others.